Hello learners in this lecture we'll see how to find out the foundation and the pedestal quantity for a flag pole foundation so this is one of a drawing of a flag pole so i'll uh, go through the drawing once so that you understand what it is all about yeah so this is a flag pole actually so i'll be having a yeah, let me try to zoom in a bit Yeah, so you'll have a 50 mm thick PCC, and over that I have a raft foundation. You can see a raft foundation written here. It's 1,200 by 5,200 by 300 mm is the depth of the foundation. Then you have this pedestal. The pedestals are put up when you have to take the steel structure over that. That's the one point. And whenever you have some heavy load coming on that, usually we go with the pedestal. So you can see it here. It's written RCC pedestal here, which is 600 mm by 600 mm by 1,500. And over that you have some additional concrete of 600 mm by 4600 mm is the length and 150 mm is the thickness of that. And the other things is already mentioned, whatever is the size of this, uh, you know, raft foundation, it is given here. And the height of the pedestal is also given. The height of the pedestal is 1500 from this level to the top of the foundation. The thickness of the foundation is given here, which is 300 mm and the thickness of the PCC and the is given as 50 mm. And also the depth of the PCC is given as 50 mm. Yeah, so and this is my flag pole. You can see it, right? So you'll put up one, two, and three flag over that. So when you work in big companies, you'll be having this, uh, you know, uh, things where the flag will be put up that put up of that particular country. So you have three flags will be put up over that. Now coming to the plan of this, whatever we have seen. So this is a plan of that particular foundation. So what you can see in the plan, you can see one, two, and three. These are the three flag pole which are circular in shape. Then you'll be having a pedestal here. This is a pedestal of RCC. This is also another pedestal. This is also another pedestal. And the size of the raft foundation is given here, which is 1200 by 5200 by 300. So this is the overall plan of this. So we'll be trying to find out how much is a concrete required and all those all those things. So for that, I already create an Excel sheet so that we can do a, uh, calculations in a very easy way. So I've written it here, flagpole, flagpole foundation and I have written the footing here, whatever is the size of the footing, the length, the breadth and the depth is mentioned here. Coming to the RCC pedestal, also the length, breadth and depth is also mentioned here. Since we have two, three uh, pedestal here, like uh, if yeah, there's one pedestal here, the second one and the third one, that is the reason I have put here numbers. Coming to the additional concrete, this is the length, breadth and depth given by me. Now, what all things I need to find? I need to find the excavation depth. I need to find the PCC quantity. I need to find the concrete quantity, the concrete, sh I mean the footing concrete, the shuttering for that, the pedestal shuttering, the pedestal concrete and the additional concrete quantity. So directly, whatever we have learned so far, I put that in Excel form and within a single click, I'm going to get all the answers. So we'll try to do that. What is the size of the foundation given here? It's a 1200 by 5200 by 300 mm. So what I'm going to do, I've written it here 5.2 into 1.2 into 0 0.3. Coming to the RCC pedestal, the size of the RCC pedestal is given here, which is 600 mm, 600 mm by 600 mm by 1500. So already I put up it here 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 into 1.5. So coming to the number, I have three RCC pedestal here. There's one here, the second one and the third one. That is why I have put up three here. Now coming to the additional concrete, since you need to put some additional concrete here so that you can put a granite stain, stone over that and you have an anchor bolt to that. So that is why the additional concrete is put up here, which is again 600 mm is the width of that and 4600 mm is the entire length of that and 150 mm is the depth of that. So the same, whatever thing I, whatever I explained you, the same is put up here, 0 0.6 is the length and breadth is 4.6 and this depth is 0 0.5. The moment I put all these things, the Excel will calculate and give me the answer. So this is the final answer what I've got. So if I want to put a flagpole foundation, something like this, I require 48 cement bags, 58.2 cubic feet of sand, 116.5 cubic feet of coarse aggregate, 830 liters of water, and 14.64, let us say, 15 square meter of the shuttering. And the total cost of this thing come out to be 26,686. So within a minute, I can give the quantity of all these things. So how do you do that? We'll try to understand. Coming to the excavation, I put a formula to this. So how do you find the excavation quantity? It's already known to us. Whatever is my size, 
for that you have to add 0.1 point on pcc and 300 mm offset for the working space so i already put it here 1.35 yeah yeah it's written here so this c6 plus 0 i'll do it again yeah okay c6 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 multiply by c7 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 so this c6 stand for you can see the c here and 6 is this number that is the length i have taken for the length i've added 0 0.3 0 0.3 as my working space 0 0.3 0 0.3 comes out to be 0 0.6 plus the pcc offset i've taken 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 but if you refer to the drawing the pcc offset they have not mentioned it here how much should be the offset of the pcc so i have taken 100 mm on both the sides so it comes out to be 0 0.2 on the length side i have done coming to the breadth side even on the breadth side it is 1.2 so what i have done c7 stand for this is c column the seventh one stand for this one so this is my c7 so the x will directly take this 1.2 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 the offset and the working space so length into breadth i have done i need the excavation depth quantity for that i need to refer my cross section so from here also I'm going to get that otherwise you can just move this drawing uh, you can see it here right so it's given here from the GL level up to the top of the foundation it is 1.35 that is 1350 plus your depth of foundation is 300 mm plus the depth of your pieces is 50 mm so my excavation will happen to this depth what I need to do I'll take a calculator to put it in a simple way One point three five plus zero point three. Yeah. One point three five plus zero point three plus zero point uh, zero five. I'm getting one point seven, and uh, we'll see what I'm getting here. Yeah. One point three five plus zero point three plus zero. Plus it should have been 0 0.05 50 mm comes out to be 0 0.05 yeah so for that i need to minus this quantity you see here it is written gl plus 150 but my excavation will happen from the ground level but this level what is what you can see here right it is already 150 mm higher so i need to reduce that so i'll reduce that as well minus 0 0.15 that will come out to be 1.55 is my total excavation depth so i'll go back to the excel sheet here a small mistake has been done instead of 0 0.5 you should put it as 0 0.05 because uh, pcc depth is 50 mm so 0 0.05 is my pcc so i'll give an enter button so it has come that i need 18.6 cubic meter of the soil has to be extracted similarly coming to the pcc we know that whatever is your length plus breadth add 0 0.1 0 0.1 on both the side and multiply by the thickness of the pcc the thickness of the pcc is 50 mm that is 0 0.05 i'm going to get the pcc quantity coming to the footing shattering the formula remains the same 2 into length plus breadth and multiply that by the depth of the uh, footing you are going to get the footing shattering quantity 2 into the length is 5.2 plus 1.2 multiply this by depth the depth is 0 0.3 so i've done that directly i'm getting this 1.872 square meter yeah 3.84 square meter of my shattering quantity we'll try to do that is equal to 2 into multiply by 5.2 i'll click 5.2 plus uh, 1.2 and i'll multiply this by uh, the depth of that so it comes out to be 3.84 coming to the footing concrete it's very simple whatever length the breadth and depth you have multiply that you'll get the footing concreting right coming to the pedestal shuttering this is my pedestal since it is a shuttering quantity it's again simple simple thing what you have to do two times the 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 into the depth you have to do but since there are three numbers you have to multiply this by three that is why e9 is written here e and the nine stand for this particular row so that's it you're going to get the total pedestal shuttering quantity coming to the pedestal uh, concrete it's very simple 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 into 1.5 is what i need to do i've already done it this is how you're getting but make sure that you multiply this by three number so that all the three concrete you're getting and coming to the additional concrete you require only a concrete there just multiply this 0 0.6 by 4.6 into 0 0.15 you are going to get the additional concrete quantity that's it now coming to the cement bags is already known to that known to us i already put the formula of that that's it 
just uh, give a enter button now the magic is that if i try to change the footing size here all the quantity will change on its own that's it let us say uh, now i have a, one more drawing where the uh, size of my footing is let us the raft of the uh, raft foundation footing is 5 feet by 5 meter by 5 meter and the depth is 0.5 let us consider that so what has happened everything has got changed and finally i have found the cost has to be 98958 rupees that's it so this is how you need to make use of the excel sheet so that your calculation becomes faster and you don't have to do anything manually i hope uh, this is understood up to here we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you